Friends, welcome to our channel. Only when times get bad do people, most people, really open their eyes and evaluate what is really important. They begin to look around them and they begin to ask, why are these things taking place? Unfortunately, most of the time when this happens, it is too late to change the things that have already been set in motion. Fortunately, some people have opened their eyes and they've taken that first step in moving from the city to the country. But many people need to not do this. And let's talk about what that is. That one thing is stopping actively searching for the truth. That is the only way that you're going to open your eyes is to be constantly seeking what the truth is every single day in pretty much every subject that is surrounding you. Friends, I recommend you start that search for truth right now, right this very second. Do it. So many people are lulled to sleep by bread and circuses. Please do not get caught up in any of that now. It is too late. It is too late to be paying attention to how much money you're going to make and stash away for your, your retirement, how your favorite sports team is doing. It's too late. Stop trying to acquire things just to acquire things or pursuing, you know, six figures or seven figures or whatever it is. Just focus on what's important. We don't need to be paying attention to the 24 hour news cycle. We don't need to be paying attention to what king or queen is doing on this day or that day. None of that matters. And we don't need to be paying attention to government distractions. What I mean by that is these manufactured fights between two different sides that keep you, uh, keep your mind engaged on them, keep you angry at the other side, keep you focused on that, while in the background, most of them are working together to kill us by a thousand small paper cuts, if you know what I mean. So focus on what is important right now. Do not let these things stop you from making progress for yourself and your family. Now, yes, those things that are important are defined by you. They're maybe defined by me a little bit differently. In my case, the things that are important to me are my relationship with Jesus Christ, my family, my health, my uh, homestead property, and that relates to my family and taking care of my family. I know a lot of you are focused, but if this message just touches a few that need that encouragement to focus on the important things, to open your eyes, to seek truth now, I hope that it really does. Because so many are being manipulated right now, being manipulated emotionally. And the one thing that comes to mind that is really just absolutely insane right now is people attacking cars. And you know what I'm talking about. People scratching up the exterior paint jobs of Teslas just because they don't like a certain person, Elon Musk. I'm certain some of those are paid agitators, but for those that aren't, for those that are getting caught on camera every single solitary day doing this, you are doing it to people that are probably politically aligned with you and you're not hurting Elon Musk in one tiny little bit. It is completely illogical and irrational to do so. And I don't want any one of us to be manipulated in that same way, emotionally, against something else. Stop, think, analyze, look at all the evidence, look what's going on. Take a reasonable amount of time to make a decision and move forward, not violently, not out of control, not emotionally. So many don't do this. So many are emotionally driven and they are easily manipulated. It is so sad to watch. I want you to secure your future, however that looks for you, whether it's having a decent amount of finances so that you can live off grid and not have to worry about things. If it's, you know, strengthening your relationship with Jesus or whatever that looks like growing 10 acres of food and helping out your local food pantry. That's awesome. Focus on those things. Focus on family. Focus on helping others. Focus on your eternal life. Focus on building that framework of safety around you. And focus on building a safe haven for your family. 
Friends, if you think you're going to be changing much by voting for the next guy, I got to tell you, most of those people have been put in place to be in places of power. And that has been set in motion for hundreds of years, for even maybe thousands of years. There are many things that are going on in the background right now that nobody knows about, only a few. And it is to our detriment. Luckily, in this country, we set up a framework to stave off the elitists for a few hundred years. But their plan has been in motion for so long that it is overwhelming us now. Friends, they keep drumming up the same things over and over and over again to keep all of us at each other's throats and to keep our focus off of them, but on each other. This is always the plan while they implement those thousand paper cuts in the background. We have to seek truth, secure our family, secure our eternal life, and that's what we need to focus on. Most importantly, for my Christian friends, you cannot fall asleep at the wheel. So much evil has crept into Christian churches that God does not recognize them anymore. They completely diverge from His Word. They stray so far from Him and His Word, and the Word was with God and the Word was God, right? They stray so far from that, they inject their own truth into uh, sermons and into... They're not even sermons anymore. They're just talks about prosperity and things that are extra biblical that are just not even there. Christian friends, this is what I'm talking about when I say pay attention. Uh, I came back to the church uh, after leaving the church when I was young. I came back to God by the Holy Spirit's leading, and it was through an NIV Bible or New International Version. Now, that Bible did provide me a lot of good base because it is God's Word, but Man has even manipulated that, and I found that out later. I found out that there's almost 1,000 verses that are completely deleted from the received text. They're deleted from the NIV. Many of those texts have to do with the divinity of Jesus. Don't take my word for it. Go and look, and you will see sometimes, like Matthew 18, 11, it does not exist in the NIV. It skips from 10 to 12, just completely omits it, and even takes out the number. It doesn't even shift the numbers of the verses. And that's done almost 1,000 times. That's just a small example of how Satan is trying to manipulate and change God's Word. But God's Word has been changed in churches, and that is something you have to pay attention to. You have to study while you're listening to a pastor. You have to study while listening to leaders of a certain denomination. You've got to read for yourself. Like I always say, do not take my word for it. Go and study for yourself. And if something conflicts with the church that you are attending, like it conflicted for me in the past, then take that to the leader of the church. Ask them questions. Study it out with them and point them to God's Word. Because you and I were given God's Word for a purpose. It is not for just the leaders of the churches to read. And then those leaders of the churches decipher that information and then pass it down to you and I. God gives you His Word straight. He'll lead people to truth through different means, absolutely. But you need to constantly be seeking that truth. Look, many of us went to school, we studied, we had tests, right? There's a big test coming, the biggest test you'll ever have, and that is for your eternal life. That test is ongoing for us every single solitary day. Yes, Christ died for our sins once for all, and we can reject that gift He has given us. And if we reject it, the Bible tells us how we reject it, and that's by not following His commandments. There is not one tiny shred of legalism in that because the Bible mentions hundreds of times, if you love me, keep my commandments. The all-powerful creator of the entire universe who's always been creating, who always will create, the foundation of his government are 
those commandments and they are based solely in love. Love of God and love of your fellow man. That's the first four commandments, love for God, and the last six commandments, love for man. If I love God as he loved me, I will obey his commandments because I love him. Not because I just need to check them off on a checklist. It's honestly, truly because he loved me first and because I love him. Through his word, he asks me to do that. Through and Jesus Christ and with the guidance and help of the Holy Spirit. I can turn this into an hour-long Bible study. Maybe if you want to hear that someday, we can do that. But friends, the basic message of this video is to focus on what's important. Don't get distracted and seek truth constantly. Then build those things we talked about earlier, helping others, helping your family, staying healthy, and your relationship with God. Okay, friends, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day, and I'd love to see you back here on the channel again. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.